Good morning. I appreciate you being great today. Of course, I mean great in the sense of Jesus in Matthew 20, 26, when he said, whoever wants to be great among you must become a servant. This is a great day to serve others in the name of Jesus. When I was in seminary at Emory, I spent a year in a supervised ministry program at St. Luke's Episcopal Church on Peachtree Street in downtown Atlanta. One of the things we did at St. Luke's was help serve lunch to the homeless in downtown Atlanta, what were known back then as street people. St. Luke served over 500 street people lunch five days a week. After I'd been there three or four times, I finally felt comfortable enough to venture out beyond the kitchen to engage some of the street people. I was glad to be taking Jesus to them, and I really wanted to share my faith with somebody. When I stepped out of the safety of the kitchen, I spotted what looked like a 60-year-old man who had just sat down with his lunch. I know now that he was probably much younger than 60. Life had aged him tremendously, particularly in his leathered face. I sat down across from this man, ready to introduce myself and present a well-rehearsed verbal declaration of how my Jesus had changed my life. Just as I opened my mouth, this guy bowed his head and began to pray out loud, Thank you, Lord, for this food you have provided to the good folks here today and help me to share it with all in need. And Lord, thank you for your love that gives me strength no matter what I face. I love you. Amen. I was stunned, actually speechless. I, I'd assumed my job was to take Jesus to this man, assumed Jesus needed to be taken to those less fortunate than me. I was taking Jesus to this man who had no home and no money, but I discovered Jesus was already there. Jesus was already present in his life. Today, you have scattered to serve, and what you do will be good. You will be the hands of Jesus, busy at work. I pray you'll take some time this morning to stop your doing and look for Jesus in those you serve. Jesus is there, he's living there, and in the lives of those with whom you serve. He just may surprise you. Before you begin your work, I invite you to hold hands with your team members and pray for Jesus to be in you today and for you to be able to see Jesus alive and well in others. I look forward to seeing you back in the Fellowship Hall at 1130 for our lunch together. God bless you.